Only on 10 News, an American flag burned to a crisp. This happened in El Cajon. Now, a man saw this happening while he was driving by overnight and he captured it on video. New at 6, 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky tracked that man down. He says he is saddened but not surprised. And the man was driving home east here down Broadway when he looked over towards this building, Nitty's Tattoo and Barbershop. There was a man standing pretty much where I am now holding a lighter and an American flag. Well, that driver did a U-turn, pulled out his phone to record some video. We saw that video this morning, came here to the scene, and this is what we found, an Eagle flag topper, and right here, what looks like a charred piece of an American flag. It was kind of this sense of just bewilderment. It was like, God, do I, uh... Is this really happening like right where I live? That was the voice of the man who recorded this video last night on Broadway in El Cajon. Just a few fragments of the flag are now left on the sidewalk. The witness thinks the flag burning was a protest of the police shooting of Alfred Alongo last month, but he thinks that kind of protest might be going too far. I am actually rather sympathetic for, for I guess, what happened. And, you know, I mean, what the, the changes that people are trying to make in, in our society and I, I just feel like this is, this is going to do more hurt than help. Now, if you look closely at the video, you might have noticed that this door was open, but when we came here today, there's a big padlock on it. The place is obviously out of business, so it appears that whoever did this had access to get inside of the building. There are no signs of a break-in. We should also point out it is not illegal to burn an American flag. That's protected under the First Amendment. However, there might have been misdemeanors for burning something without a permit. In El Cajon, Jeff Lasky, 10 News.